The two carts in this problem are gliding on a frictionless horizontal track. The first cart, we'll call 1, is gliding to the right with a speed of 0 0.80 meters per second. The second cart is gliding in the opposite direction with a speed of 2.2 meters per second, so we'll call its velocity negative 2.2 meters per second, which means that the positive direction is to the right. They collide elastically, and we're asked to find their velocities, magnitude and direction, after the collision. For any elastic collision, both kinetic energy and momentum are conserved. And solving for the final velocities involves solving two equations for two unknowns. In this case, it's helpful to solve the problem once algebraically, and then substitute numbers into the general result. If you do this, you find that the final velocity of the first cart is given by this expression, difference in the masses over the sum, times the initial velocity of cart 1, plus twice the mass of cart 2 over the sum of the masses, times the initial velocity of cart 2. And the final velocity of the second cart, the velocity after the collision, is given by a similar expression that's shown here. And now given these two expressions, we can just substitute in the known masses and initial velocities. The difference in the masses, m1 minus m2, is negative 0.15 kilograms, and the sum of the masses is 0.45. Substitute the velocities, remembering that v2 initial is negative because it's going to the left in the negative x direction. And you find that after the collision, cart 1 has a velocity of minus 3.2 meters per second. In the same way, substitute numbers into the expression for V2F, the velocity of cart 2 after the collision, and you find that its final velocity is negative 0.20 meters per second. This means that both carts are moving to the left after the collision, the first one at 3.2 meters per second, and the second one at 0.20 meters per second.